went out over the weekend with Jay McClure. We were uh, on the Nehalem River, and uh, Jay showed me one of his awesome spots, and I just wanted to show you some of what uh, we collected. That, I don't know, people, is that Brazil? Pretty cool. Love those fortifications. Some of this stuff has a purplish hue. It really depends on how you look at it, but it's beautiful inside. And here's a really dark agate with a rectangular fortification. I'm over here dipping it in water. Anyway, whoops, didn't get it all the way wet. There we go. Let's see if we can see that. Let's try a... Uh, it's sunny outside. Let's walk out here and see what happens when we put it in the sun. Kind of hard for me to actually see it on the screen now. Uh, let's see this way. Wow. I mean, it is kind of cool. Sorry if I blinded you. I don't know if it's focusing because I can't even see. I have to block the sun. There we go. Pretty cool. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that's another, another cool one. And some of these massive quartz flowers, these quartz crystals that have all grown together. And uh, these make like great fish tank rocks and uh, all kinds of neat applications. Still in the host, but most of it is the quartz. And this thing's a couple pounds. I mean, it's pretty heavy. Maybe not a five pound bag of sugar, but pretty doggone close. And another one. Can't really dip these and show you, but there is some beautiful agatization going on uh, underneath and inside of this big nodule. It's pretty massive. And a really cool, beautiful looking nodule here. Got of a blue hue to it. And I can just see this guy cut up. It's going to be insanely beautiful. Let's see what else this one here is very quartzy with a, a nice agate around the outside uh oh somebody's using their leaf blower wonderful okay I'll make it quick yeah last one this is has some uh, brown jasper kind of Post there with some quartz flowery quartz crystals all grown together. Anyway, hey, thanks a lot. Jay, that was really an awesome trip. Can't wait to hang out with you again. So I got some Nehalem River agates here I'm going to clean. Step one, this shows step two, but step one is just brace, basically uh, an initial wash off of the rocks. Um, pressure washing and stuff like that depending on how much scum buildup there is from the river uh, so muriatic, muriatic, muriatic acid then iron out step three and baking soda step four I filled the buckets with these are three gallon buckets I put one cup of muriatic acid one cup of iron out and one cup of baking soda and fill the buckets slightly less than halfway. Uh, this makes room for the rocks when they go in. And I use a straining bucket, another bucket the same size, but with little holes in to help uh, drain it to go between the steps. So there is one thing to note, and that is I'm outdoors, well ventilated area. Do not breathe the gases, especially the way I do the process. Um, because I go from muriatic acid into iron out and that creates a whole new acid so just uh, keep that in mind so I've collected up about a gallon and a half of agates this bucket here is the strainer bucket and it has a bunch of holes in the bottom that I drilled 
And uh, it's also good to go rock hounding with this bucket because uh, if you're walking in the river, uh, you don't have to worry about the water building up or your bucket getting full of water uh, and then you having to empty it. It just empties itself. So I lower the bucket into the water and I see there's a really good amount of bubbling going on. Some of that is just uh, air pockets that are, um, you know, the air is being squeezed out. And some of it is the actual chemical reaction occurring, which are the small fine bubbles. So anyway, yeah, that's happening. And it's not completely covered, but I can see all I need to do is add a little bit more water, a little more acid, and I'll be fine. So there I kind of topped it off. I added maybe a quarter cup more acid. Uh, but now I have my a good level idea here and to cover these I'll have to do the same add a little bit more water into both of these That's been several minutes now and There's still a certain amount of bubbling going on when you work with muriatic acid iron out uh, Not so much baking soda, but just remember um, Have water around lots of water if you spill this on yourself, you're going to want to flush right away as fast as you can. Remove any clothing. The, the best thing is to keep everything low and use a strainer bucket to prevent splashing. Don't splash the stuff. Take your time and be safe. Safety glasses, uh, gloves, whatever it takes for you to be safe. So, still getting a fair amount of bubbling going on, which uh, could easily be calcite. Um, a lot of these particular agates are pseudomorph after calcite. Some of the calcite sometimes is still in the rocks. So uh, we don't want to, you know, dissolve the calcite completely. This will clean it up. And, uh, but it certainly is still gone at about the 10 minute mark. So this material is straight from the river. And you can see it has a lot of uh, just river scum and plant life and such. Some of it is quartzy. Uh, some of it is agate and well, we'll just see it when they're done. I'm at the 15 minute mark. I think that's plenty. It's even reacting more, which tells me it's getting into calcite. So I don't want to, uh, to run much longer. But let me tell you one thing. There's different ratios you can mix this. You can do a, a very mild ratio a very mild acid mix and let them sit overnight um, if you want to deal with it i do a much faster process and uh, maybe a little bit more dangerous as far as how strong the acid is in the bucket so again i'm just very careful to do a good drain so i'm going to move this one over let it drip for a while but see having the buckets at the same level you can quickly move it over drop it down into the iron out and it's not quite full enough so I'll just top that off and uh, we'll let this sit uh, in there there's out not a whole while. lot of bubbling action going on with iron out uh, the chemical reaction isn't uh, super potent but as you've seen I went right from the muriatic acid into the iron out a lot of people uh, prefer to do a rinse before doing that um, but I find it works just fine this, this uh, muriatic acid well it was this color to start and now it's starting to yellow so you don't want to get too yellow it'll stain your white rocks if you have white ones and uh, discolor colored rock um, so anyway I watch this and once it starts getting too yellow uh, I won't use it anymore and I'll switch out. Okay, well, it's been uh, about 20 minutes. You know, I it, it really depends on how much iron uh, is, you know, on the surface. Really, iron out's really good for cleaning up crystals and such that have a lot of iron on them or throughout them. Uh, it's not always necessary. And so, anyway, this is just a uh, a short dunk for these and if I see any that I really, really want to have uh, the iron out, I'll do an overnight so soak with those. So now I'm just using baking soda to neutralize these two acids. And 
Um, I'll leave them in here for about 10 minutes and then I'll just put them in water and I'll start the whole process over again, moving these down while I'm pressure washing these. And it should make a, a nice little system. I'll just get a little batch out every uh, maybe okay, 20 so minutes, half out hour. of the baking soda and into just regular water. And I'll just let them sit in here uh, until I pressure wash them. And I'll just grab a couple and, uh, you know, do a few at a time, not try to pow through them. And, yeah, so uh, yeah, see what they, they were in the like. strainer bucket. I took them out and dumped them into the straight water. And at this point, you don't have to worry about uh, being splashed on. The acid's neutralized and it's just water. So uh, you're pretty safe here. Okay, well, we have a couple pounder here. And again, I can just use my hands in this. And now let's just pressure wash all the stuff off of here. And uh, some of these, you know, after I pressure wash them, I'll decide if I'll run them through again. Uh, but anyway, let's just pressure to wash this one and then see what it looks like after. Well, first, let's get a closer look. A lot of little dirty pockets, but it's agony, quartzy. Got some little cavities of where calcite was before. Yeah, oops, hold it here. And yeah, we'll get all those nooks and crannies with the pressure washer, which is right here and ready to go. Okay, I have another batch started and have one finished and another one ready to be pressure washed.